Welcome everyone back to another one shot. This time we are again doing an episode of Dark, or One Shot in the Dark, as it's also been known. The concept, as always, is that the players know nothing. They are in a dark cellar. They have been there for several weeks. They do not know what form they're in, whether they're human, animal, bird, whatever can be any kind of creature that the dice and or the rough spreadsheet of creatures I have has established for them. In addition to not knowing what form they're in, they also do not know any of their stats or skill points. These have been randomly calculated for them off screen and have been assigned. They know what stats are available, they just don't know what their scores are, which they will inquire and will be told as the game goes on. Randomly throughout their experience they are trying to escape and Throughout as well, we will also be having random events, which they will see in time will come clear, and those will be drawing from cards taken from one of four Gemhammer and Sun decks. We have the Deck of Wonder, the Deck of Wonder After Dark, the Deck of Sunders, and the Deck of Blunders. So these have been roughly about five to ten cards taken from each and shuffled together to make a small deck. So I will be drawing from that when the time is appropriate. So without further ado, through the medium of cheating, let us go over to me live at Dragon Meet 2023. Welcome to Penis RPG Live at Dragon Meet 2023. This will be an episode of Dark with random attendees from the con. So, starting on my left, who are you? Would folk know you from anywhere or do you have anything you'd like to plug? And who are you playing tonight? My name is Skylar. I'm just from Suffolk. I don't have anything to plug in. And I'll be playing a bomb and billet, an unknown origin. Alright, thanks we have Eden. Hello, I'm Eden. I suppose I should do a sales pitch this time around so yes, yes, yes. so that people won't get out of the recording, but whatever. I'm on Penance RPG, pretending with dice, cast member, and occasional DM. And yeah, my character this time around is simply going to be called Bodger. Of course it is. Alright, here you go. My name is William. Oh, your character's William. Alright, both William. Um, they're both William? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Next. My name is Your Forger, and it came from my favourite anime, Spy Family. Watch more anime. Watch good, good, good more plug. anime. You're not going to get any free stuff for saying that. <laughs> my, so my name's Philip. It's our first time at Dragon Meat. We're loving it. Thank you for inviting us to this game. My character name is Johnny Lloyd, who we've already sort of discussed is some kind of action hero type character. But maybe he's just got a good name and he's actually useless, but we'll find out. So thank you for having us. My name's Craig. My, my RPG's at craigdidathing.itch.io. Today I'll be playing B. Harborn. Alright, and finally, but no Dragon Meat episode is complete without Dory. Oh no, don't make it sound too impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but I am Bellary, and today I will be playing Carlos with a Q. But yeah, we will see how we get on. Qualos. 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 Not Qualos, right. but that sounds cool. I like Qualos! <laughs> That is my catchphrase. It's, cat it's going to go well. Right. It's going to go well. All right. Okay. My catchphrase so. is, I like cats. <laughs> I think we've got that one. All right. So, this is dark, as uh, <gasps> some people are aware. How dark works is you have all, at some point, been captured by this wizard tower. You have been kept in the darkest, darkest below of the, one of the towers. You have not seen sunlight in many weeks. You are very aware that there's magical experiments and stuff going on but there's nothing really that you're able to wear and you, you don't remember the last time you could see yourself because it's been that dark. But you all are, you've all been vaguely talking to each other through the bars because your cells are all divided by bars. And one sort of, I say morning, you don't actually know quite past your time because again, it's very dark, but you see this sort of strange pulsing crystal just making its way down what looks like a spiral staircase in front of you. And as it comes forward to the bars, it just goes and all the bars in front of you just fall straight down with an enormous slam. So the bars are now free. What would you like to do? Well, I think this seems quite fortunate. I can't do a Spanish accent, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep that going for now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, this seems quite fortunate for us, does it not? Friends. You sound Indian. Yeah, oh, man. that's okay. We're used to this. <laughs> what was 
is a hard. <laughs> what what is I, I swear I am Spanish. <laughs> I will get into character as we go on. Anyway, I propose we take this opportunity to alight from this. Cage, cage, yes, cage works. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, English is not my first language, you'll have to forgive me. Can Let's we, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Can I we, like the cats. Oh, well, maybe we will find a cat somewhere along the yeah, line. Maybe we are a cat. Maybe we are. Um, right, so you begin to make your way towards the stair, you saw this light coming from. All of you are very various different types of like footsteps. Some are sort of softer than others, some are very sort of bluntly flat. One or two of them are more kind of like scratchy. Hmm. And as you kind of get to the stairs, Especially Craig will struggle trying to get up the stairs. <laughs> the stairs seem to be like half the height of the, your body. Yeah. Uh, this is awkward, but who designed this? Uh, uh, gosh. And do you need a leg up, my friend? Uh, yes, please. A little help would be nice. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I will attempt to help him up the stairs. Piggyback. <laughs> I'm giving him a piggyback. Okay. So how are you going to, considering it's pitch black, how are you going to work out this piggyback? Entirely by feel. Entirely by feel. Okay. <laughs> wow. So you back, <laughs> you, you back towards where the sound is coming from. You move over, see how you get up a piggyback. I can't see what that says. You've got a two. Oh you dear. You to see how close you get to him. Okay. Uh, that's an eight. You're reasonably close to each other, and you discover, Barry, that you feel feathers, oh. and you discover that you feel very slick, oily fur. That's good. So what that's what each other means. <laughs> uh, we have not showered in a while, we have been stuck in this cage. It, I'm going to be a little greasy, I apologise. Uh, guess what? We've got to get up these stairs, don't we? Um, so, I guess we go up the stairs. I think uh, I'm going to try and use acrobatics. Uh, okay. Spurned. Your acrobatics. Well, two. Would be assistance. Your acrobatics is one. Yes. So you can add one to that. So do a do a roll and add one. And that is. Is it a six? That is a six plus one is a seven. seven. All right. You jump your way onto the back of Guavos with the cure. Guavos with the cure. <laughs> and you find you, the temptation of your feet is to sort of pull your desires to dig your claws just a little bit into him. It seems very natural to your animal form. Gosh. Oh, do you need to do that? I, I am right here. I am not going to let you go, do not worry. <laughs> I, I've not had a chance to trim my nails, you haven't had a wash, but we're, we're making do. No, but maybe go a little bit lighter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is falling wind. <laughs> I like cats. <laughs> the only other one, uh, I, like cats. I suspect my friend on my back might also have a thing for cats. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not quite in the same way. The only other one that's struggling a little bit is... Yeah. You know, Okay. In what respect, struggling? Like, um, down the stairs. To go up the stairs, the stairs are up. not too far up, but they're about maybe a third to your height. I don't suppose you've got space for another one on back there, have you? Do I? <laughs> How am I finding the stairs? Am I leaping up or am I. You're finding them no problem. You're okay. just walking up them, they're a decent height. You, you do find that you're walking on all fours. On fours, but I'm, I'm not having a problem with it. So, can I give a lift? You can, um, yes. if, I, if I'm finding it okay on the stairs? Yes, you can. Let me just get some. Let's see on there. Are, we going, are we going up or down stairs? You're going upstairs. Going upstairs, okay. I've got a 14, so I did find it easy. I've got a 10. Yep. Between the two of you, you manage to walk each other out. You find that Eden's character is very plump and feathery. Oh, much obliged. How do I feel? And you find that the gentleman there is quite big and quite husky breath. <laughs> and I'm on all fours. He's about three times your size. <laughs> that could be the least so heavy that anything has ever been done. So big, big and husky and on all fours. Okay, and I've got to tell me about my breath. <laughs> am, am I some kind of dog? Well, I don't know. Could be. Okay. Maybe you're husky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did say husky breath. Okay. How are these guys finding the stairs? One of you is on two legs, and you're finding it a little bit awkward to get yourself up, like walking, like is weirdly one foot in front of the other. But the other one is walking again, quite like yourself, not ha- not having much problem. Walking Am I walking on all fours? Yes, you are. Yeah, you've got a chance for being a cat. Mm-hmm. Oh my fine. You are also walking on all fours and you are again not really having too much problem. But are you a bear? No, well we don't know yet, Julian. So it was William the one who was having problems and carrying. He's having he's walking on two legs and he's having a little bit of problem just walking like a normal person with obstacles. Okay, but but managing it. Yeah. Okay. Managing. 
So we're kind of between us, we're, we're able to handle yeah. these stairs. I think. Well, you are a magic head of the stairs. And as you get up to the next room, you see a, a very, very dim light. You begin to see sort of shadows of each other. You walk into the next room, you see what looks like a sort of giant furry mass with a, a large bird on top of it. Mm, track. <laughs> you, you see what looks like a large, could be a dog, could be a dog kind of shaped, with a penguin on their back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> penguin, you penguin, see, penguin. You see two more sort of doggish shapes, and you see something which looks like a very large mouse, <laughs> but far too big to be a mouse. Cat. Cat. It's like some kind of trouser type, possum type. Walker. Walk back. Catty, 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 catty. As you walk through this room, you see two doors at the end, you see a door on your left, and the door's way ahead of you. Which would you like to look at or examine or explore? I'll oh, hop down off to your back. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for the lift, that That's was very right. nice of yeah. you. I'll give a little wobble over towards this <laughs> other door and try and lift the flipper to the handle. <laughs> Alright. You flip over the handle and you push the door, it slides open easily, revealing a quite a foul smell. Oh, it stinks in there! Shall I try and use my sense of smell to try and identify what it might be? Yeah. Ooh. Maybe it's you. Chose us a very interesting uh, choices for this story. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's I was anything. thinking what animals would do. Just quickly say, for those who are listening, for clarity, before we chose the stats for today, because I said I gave them the list and said choose 15 of these, all of these are um, interesting <laughs> to go by, but um, yes. What I would say is just is just do. I think foraging probably. Foraging, be. yeah, foraging, foraging. foraging uh, Fifteen. Your foraging uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm left with the fifteen then. Yeah, fifteen is well enough. You smell. There's a very strong smell of rotten meat through the door that the uh, quite obvious penguin has mm-hmm. now opened. Do any of us seem quite interested by the smell of <laughs> rotting meat? Mm. Um, yes, your character would feel would be probably most interested in the smell of certainly older meat. I was going to investigate anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just go in. Yeah. You go in, most of the things there seems to be meat that's been left out. It looks like this room must have been some sort of cold storage. But it must have been heated up or just been left a long time. But the, the meat smells a little bit older, but you'd still probably eat it if you're hungry. It smells like a bad zoo in here. <laughs> Can't say I like it. It yeah. smells like my mother's cooking. I do not know what this accent has become. <laughs> Come, Papa Gato! Ah, uh, it's me, Papa Gato! You did not expect Papa Gato! <laughs> What's a papagato? It sounds like a sandwich. Papagato was a character from the the series we did. It sounds like a sandwich. He was a rat who had many children. Some of them, yeah. Sandwiches! Yeah, so you just have a look around that room. That room just seems to be just a single solitary room. Nothing much else going on apart from this sort of meat hanging from hips on the wall. I'm going to take a piece of the meat. Yeah. Are you wanting to just carry it with you? You want to eat it? Okay, cool. No problem. You pick up a... Decently sized section of meat and sort of haunch, as it were, mm. and you have that in your mouth. But the rest of you still. Mm. Oh, hey, William, have you ever looked at the other door yet? I walk through the door. You want to try the door? Yeah. Okay. okay, you walk up to the other door, you push it open, it just again slides open, revealing a short corridor, and then another set of stairs going up. I want to go up the stairs and. Watch more anime. <laughs> <laughs> I feel we will have to get out of the tower first before we can do that. Yeah, you haven't got a device with you. <laughs> yes, there is definitely. There is not. I do not appear to be getting any services in this underground tower. <laughs> there is me. Yes. No one's having any screen time at the moment. <laughs> no, no, there could be a scrying all back on the top. <laughs> there could be. Oh, yeah, we're in fact. There's a curl at the top. Magic crystals. So again, you make your way up those stairs. At the top of the stairs, you see this sort of pulsing light. And as you walk into the room, there's a giant, like a crystal, like the one that exploded earlier, just sort of pulsing in the middle of the room, and it's lighting up the whole room. It looks like a guard station style room with a very dusty looking bed and a sort of couple of like books scattered around. But in the middle of this room, as I said, is this gigantic crystal that's pulsing. There are doors leading out. The door on your left, door on your right, and a door straight ahead. In the middle of the room is this crystal. What would you like to do? Can I try hiding to sneak past the, the crystal? You can, yes. Assuming the crystal is bad. Your hiding score is four. Oh, sweet. You're still good at hiding. That's not very high. No, it's a two. <laughs> <laughs> not, not so you, you decide the yeah. best way to hide from the crystal 
It's the hide under the crystal. Oh, well, at least I know my dramatic fly is high. You run up to the crystal and there's a gigantic explosion sound and your hair falls out of the place like porcupine quills. Oh, sweet. Rob, I won't fuck you. I'm out I'm, I'm, about that, man. Are you okay, Carlos? I appear to in a, a, a prickly situation. <laughs> but I do not appear to have come to any harm. I hope you are looking forward to your next piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want it? This thing helped us before, or seemed to help us before. So, I wonder if this is connected. I go to sleep on the bed. Okay. She does, she does this a lot in RPG. <laughs> Cur- totally curls up and... Totally uh, fine, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. You climb onto the bed. The bed is full of a thick layer of dust. And it smells a little mildewy. But you just curl up and you try and sleep as... You find yourself going in circles before sitting down. <laughs> I don't think you're a cat. Because cats don't do that. Yeah, they do. I've got a cat. They do that all can the time. I, can I sort of go and investigate this orb a little closer and maybe have a sniff? No, oh, and... the orb has sort of imploded. As it were. Oh, it's when, when, it, when it did yeah, the... Uh, right, okay. So it's leaving like sort of like dust in the air that's sort of sparkling. Okay, got you. But it has, yeah. it has seems to have changed. There was a sort of flash that you saw when the flash happened. All this fur just go... Phoom. Yeah. And the sound of these... It sounded like a really old door creaking was replacing these pit quills. Oh, that sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> Do not worry, I have successfully dealt with the crystal. <laughs> I am fully committed to being French now. It also changed my, my nationality. <laughs> so you look around, there are a couple of boxes. And when you explore the boxes, you find inside them there are various potions of various colours. Oh, is there a purple potion? Are there any is. of us colour blind? <laughs> <laughs> Bodger's gonna waddle over then and with his little flippers grab one of them and drink it back. Oh, right. oh, I, I love a bit of purple. <laughs> you glug it back, there's a slight fizzing sensation for Bodger, and everyone else watches on as Bodger seems to go flat and sleek. What, like, slims down? Slims, it's like completely just warps inwards and just shrinks down to almost be flat on the floor. Oh. What? I don't, I don't know if I like that flavour. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been a bit flat. <laughs> it, it sounds like a fish I or something. You're gonna, I think they're going to have some trouble going upstairs. Well, if you're a fish, then... Mm, flat. <laughs> yeah, it's your portable, dear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I call it Should I have another one? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, it cannot be go anywhere. It can only be an improvement at this point. Yeah, famous last words. All right, um, let's see. Have you got a blue one? This is brilliant. You're testing everything one. for us. <laughs> <laughs> you grab the blue one, you chuck it back. There's another very weird, weird fizzing sensation. And you feel, you feel big and mighty. Oh. And as your room seems to shrink around you as everyone else watches this bigger and bigger form just start slowly filling up the middle of the room. Um, am, I, am I kind of still this sleek, slender thing that's now blown up to enormous size? No, am I back no, to being no, a penguin? No, you are now a quite expensive. large, cow-sized furry creature. Oh. Gorilla penguin. Furry <laughs> penguin! <laughs> well, so much for the is. <laughs> yeah, we can all jump on you now and carry yeah. it. I think Carbon would like to try and figure out what's going on. Obviously, people have left quite suddenly. But Harwin isn't afraid of a mystery. I'm not trying to apply some criminology to this, please. Okay, no problem. Assess the crime scene. Assess the crime scene. Um, See, I told you these were good stats to face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly yeah, you have a zero in criminology. Nice. Not afraid of a mystery, but not very good at solving them. Uh, that was a 16. 16? Yep, no problem. You, you have a look around and I'm just not sure of things. And as you look into the wall, you just... Press the wall and you find this one of the stones just looks none like the rest. And you just push gently and a small panel just swings away in the side, revealing a small passage. Aha! The foot is a game. <laughs> can I fit in this small passage? Your head can fit in, but then <laughs> your shoulders can't. Oh, you might have to go on without me for a little bit, or I can have enough. <laughs> At this point it's an <laughs> How many portions are there in this portion? It's about another six or seven. Okay. You're quite. Can we just tie all the portions to eat and just carry them around in the front? Yeah. Uh, well, if I'm going to get down this passage, I think I should add one more. <laughs> oh. what, what does this time's a charm, dear. Yeah. What does this passage I mean, look like? There are doors on the remaining, like right, left, and 
quite good. But the passage is off the side of the stairs where you came in, okay. and it looks incredibly dusty, like no one's been there for a lot longer than the, the room you're in. Well, there are six potions, and there appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six of us. It is meant to be, no? I say we should all take one, and you never know when it might come in handy. Got a risky bit of biscuit. <laughs> Alright. Yes, yeah, something like that. I'm going to take one. Okay. I'll I'll take one. one. I will take yeah. one. Can I see colours? Uh, I believe so. Okay. Then I will hope for a red one. That is 45. You find yourself, your legs growing a lot bigger. Okay, just the legs. Mm -hmm. and just the legs. Okay. It feels like just the legs. Just so you do feel your porcupine quills falling out the back. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> no more porcupine right, Anyone else want to? Anyone else wants to go around? Do you want to try and push me? I think I'm going to try and carry mine if that's right. Just yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, you just go away. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with, with my current shape. Are you going to drink a potion? No. No? If no, I'm no, a no, cow, you drinking, I'll keep drinking my bowl. Are you drinking a potion? Uh, so is that 86, is it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. There's a percentage. 89. Dollars. Oh, sorry, 89. You find your body kind of flumping forward and you do kind of muscle out a little bit, but you're much more scaly than you were before. <laughs> Alright. One more. <laughs> 62. 62. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your body shrinks down and you find yourself snuffling a lot. I am starting to think maybe these potions are becoming habit for me. <laughs> <laughs> they do taste nice. They kind of agree. They are quite effervescent, no? Alright, I am going to hold on to mine. Hold on to yours, no problem. Alright, so, what are you going to do now? Are you going to go through any doors? Who can fit through the passage? Can I fit? Um, all of you at the moment can fit through the passage. Okay. It's more of a squeeze for Bill Ray, mm -hmm. uh, yourself, and... Actually, no, the rest of you are probably fine. This is really, this is really Bill Ray that's uh, yeah. the one that's a little, struggling a little bit with certain things on their head. Okay, right, okay that's... Mmm. That's, I thought I was a kangaroo. Can I start snuffling around the room? Mm -hmm. just, yep. Is there anything good smelling around here? Or bad smelling? You anyway. snuffle around, you, you find a mushroom and feel quite happy. <laughs> I start chewing on that then. Yeah. I don't know, a dusty passage, is that going to take us somewhere where we want to go? Or is that, is it, if it's been not been used much, is it a bit safer perhaps? I don't know. I don't know, they were keeping it secret for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe whatever they have, they do not want us to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be some explanations down there as to what's going on. What treasure? Oh, um, more, more potions? You never know. More potions. <laughs> Can I try something? Yep. I want to see if I have night vision, but I can't do. You don't have night vision, but you can see slightly better in the dark. Yeah. Should we send you first down this uh, okay, passageway? Of okay. Okay. Do 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 do. You're singing while you go, are you? There could be something that hears you, though. I suspect you do not have a very good hiding spot. Could you do me a roll for dodge roll, please? D20? Yeah, D20 plus 3. Oh. Mm, nice. You got a 3. Six. So 6 in total. 6 in total. Yeah. Six. As you walk into the corridor, the floor suddenly just <coughs> gives way beneath you and you plummet through a hole in the floor. Uh, oh no. You land in quite a large tank of water. Oh no. Sorry, and please. as you land in the huge tank of water, you find you're incredibly angry that you've been dropped in the water. You find yourself frantically flailing and hissing as you claw your way out to the side of the water. It does sound very cat-like, doesn't it? Do you need to do a swimming, uh, is she out? Oh yeah, a swimming roll, that's a good point. Yeah, swimming. D20? Uh, swim yep, D20 plus... Zero. Uh, zero. Zero. Eight. Eight. Four. Again, you're just struggling and spluttering water until you get clear. I wonder if a scaly, we've got a scaly <laughs> creature here, <laughs> mate. Would, would that be almost amphibian-like, uh, as long as it's not a snake? Is there is one way to find out? <laughs> yeah. What snake is it? Someone, someone, someone needs to help. <laughs> help. Uh, how deep was the water, did you notice? Was it, well you're yeah, quite a small creature now, but did you notice it was deep or... If I'll ask you, uh, <laughs> do I look like I could stand in it? When they landed in the water, it was deep enough for their large form hmm. to land in it and be fully submerged so they could shrink down. 
That's because I, go, I could carry. No, I can't. Won't. I'll touch it. I'll change, won't I? Anybody going to jump in? Uh, I should be all right, but I don't have oh, your chances. I do not know. Can I do a test jump? <laughs> Let's jump on the spot. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. I guess I'm going to say that's acrobatics. That's uh, acrobatics. That's three dollars. I might be. 17. 17, that's yep. 20. So you're a test jumper. Worked very well. Yeah. I am quite a good jumper. I am convinced. Can I check for pouches? Yes. Do I have a pouch? No. Oh, you also, your hooves struggle to get into the pouch. Ah, oh, I've got hooves. What jumps good and has hooves? Failed your muscle your one. Maybe, maybe you're. I studied kangaroo. biology for four years, I should know this. <laughs> I think a kangaroo has hooves. Kangaroo, no, they have little feet. They have, wait, they have quite big feet. Well, what has hooves and jumps good? A uh, cow? Is it a deer? No, you're on two legs, aren't you? On Wait, four. a deer? No, he's on four. A deer, a deer. A deer, yeah. Ah. A cow. Ah, I did have some on my head. A cheese! <laughs> a cheese. Okay. Cheese. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Harbone is tired of standing here. Just blow it all, I'm just going to go for it. A little bit of run up. I'm going to try and do a style. A yep. Dramatic flair. Dramatic oh, nice. flair, yes, no problem. Your dramatic flair. It's three. That's a 13 total. 13 total, yes. You you jump, you do some somersaults in the air, and you land on the sort of edge of the pool out of the water. <laughs> ne- next to a very spluttering possum. Ah, <laughs> you're a possum. There you go, don't be shy. Quite safe. So Is she's out of the water, she's managed to get out of the water. Okay. Well, I feel quite inspired by that feat of acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> I am not one to back down from a challenge. <laughs> Are you doing acrobatics or are you doing dramatic flair burning? Sure. You do seem like a dramatic flair kind of thing. But I know I have a decent note because I can find out what my dramatic flair is. So I'll do dramatic flair. That's a five. Your dramatic flair is one. <laughs> you run up, you trip, you plummet head first into the water. You're no longer an Avex. Oh no, I am. I have a concussion. Uh, not quite like that, dear. You are now... <laughs> As you sort of haul your way out of the water, you're now roughly the same size as the possum. So is it changing us in some way, this water? Or is it... It has, again, oh, it's right, changed okay. you into All right. other creatures. Yeah, well, it has it changed me into another creature? Yes, you're a, you're you're a, a possum. You're a possum. I wanted to be a cat. I'll try and jump across. Okay, use your acrobatics. Is it plus one, is it? Yeah, plus one. Ooh. Six. So seven. Seven? seven. Yeah. You jump, your feet land in it, but the rest of you doesn't. Which oh. means your feet. Oh dear. Change. Just your feet. Just, yeah. just change. <laughs> All four of your feet become taloned. <sighs> and slightly feathery. Is there a way that I can climb it? Because I'm sort of four legs, aren't I? Yep. Husky and quite big. So I'm assuming there's no way I can try and avoid getting wet or being a, you know... You can try and jump over it like at the other Try and jump over it, yeah. So maybe with my acrobatic, do I have a yeah, modifier? Your, acro- your acrobatics is zero. <laughs> right. 20. Natural 20. Twenty. Yep, you jump over with all the flair. My hippogriff. If you want to tell me another one, I'll tell you what your score is for natural 20. Uh, it's about to do what, sorry? Did you tell me any score you want, I'll tell you what your score is. Forget oh, that. right, okay, lovely, because i got that. Uh, what might be useful? Not much. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Your dodge roll is two. Oh, nice, thank you. Okay, I think I'm going to have to follow suit and try and avoid this. I've transformed <laughs> enough times at this point. <laughs> I want to jump out into the water in the hope that I can change into a cow. All right. Well, we'll, be a we'll, let, we'll do that. After. Let Eden. Let Eden have his. All right. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to take a running charge. And uh, acrobatics. Yes. Or acrobatics. Two. That's a 18 total. 18 total. Yep. Yeah. No problem. You run. You jump. You sort of jump out and sort of slightly glide. Despite your you're not a squirrel, but you slightly glide down. I'm going to go a different route and I'm going to stay one of the doors. Okay. Probably the left hand one. Okay. Hand. You open the door, you see a set of stairs going back down, and as you sort of Walk down a couple and look round. You just see into the room where everyone else is. All standing <laughs> 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 I don't oh, know if you guys see that. 
How did you do that? Are you a wizard? <laughs> Have you captured us? <laughs> the stairs! <laughs> I do not know of this sorcery. <laughs> the door is stairs! We should, we should have tried the door. <laughs> Can I roll empathy to see if I believe him? <laughs> it's two. That's a ten. Ten, you're Ten all in, ten all in. You try and empathize with him and go, but he doesn't seem to be having any of it. I am keeping my eye on you. <laughs> I do not trust you. Just look. How did you know there were the stairs? <laughs> All right. So as you, uh, yep, yeah, yeah. If you want to jump back in, yes. Okay. You you can't uh, keep on jumping back in until you get what you want. Maybe. Roll two right. then. I've already got. Right. Yeah, that's all right. Roll those two. Oh, okay. So do I? Is that twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Uh, you are indeed back to being a cat. Josh, hey. I am the cat. You, 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 you. You've, got your, you've got your wish. You are a very sleek cat. Quite a large one, about the same size as the bigger the bigger people in this. Wow, big cat. I hope I'm a panther. Mm. I like panthers. You were, you were a puma at the start, but you're not a puma now. Ooh, yay, puma. That's, okay. what, what, That's my favourite brand of trainer. <laughs> <laughs> This is not a sponsor. What can we see in this Thanks, area? This one seems to have been like barrel storage and to contain fresh water, but they've all leaked all over the floor, which is why half the room is submerged in water. Okay. But as you all look around and make your way back up the stairs, there are still two doors that you can go through. Hmm, I'm going to peek my head round, not going into one door. One door? Okay. Just peeking. The door straight ahead of you, or the door that would have been on your right? Right, because I'm right-handed. Fair enough. Alright, so you open the door. Inside is the very warm, glowing light that is definitely going to be a crystal nearby. Um, as you look up, there's another small set of stairs leading up to it, and you just see this faint pulsing of I'm, the light upstairs. I'm going to go upstairs and try and talk to the light. Okay. So if you walk up, what would you like to say to it? Um, I'll say, we come in peace. Why is there a light here? And what breed of cat am I? <laughs> uh, let's just roll bureaucracy for that. Right. What's a D- 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 spell? D20. D- D- D20 here. Alright, go and roll it. So, nine. Nine. So, yeah. You ask and you just hear a, a very faint voice saying, No more humans. So I've got to say loud enough for that to hear me. No more humans. <laughs> it was really dramatic, I swear. It was. It was you couldn't hear it, it was too quiet and far away. Well, that was quite creepy. I'm not oh, sure if these stairs are meant to talk. It seems unnatural. I mean, the whole situation, it seems unnatural. <laughs> I, I've been a, perhaps a quokka, maybe a kangaroo. I thought an otter for a while, but now I do not even know. And I am normally fairly consistent in my bodily shape. <laughs> I think it's just I'm taking the stairs. I... You keep quiet, I do not trust you still. <laughs> you, I have my eyes on you. I do not know how many eyes I have, but I have them on you. <laughs> uh, what's the character's name? Uh, Bobbin Dillett. I say one more time. Bobbin Dillett. Bobbin Dillett. Uh, yes, yeah, so Bob, you seem to have a way of thinking way out here, uh, do you feel lucky there? Uh, you're luckier than us so far with Dosh. I think the reason he knows the way out is because he captured us. That much is obvious. Or have I been the most recent? No. I will not fall for your silver tongue. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> well, I found something in this room and I tried to talk to the lighty thing and he said no more humans very, very, very quietly. <laughs> but why not? There were humans. Well, we are certainly no longer human. Yeah. <sighs> I think I was once. <laughs> yeah. I started to forget. Well, I say no. More humans. Let's go. Try and get out of here. Oh, yes, a clever play on words. <laughs> Thank you. I've been we thinking have... about it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we have not had much to do for this past. Whoever knows how long. Um, I wonder where there's any windows. Um, I guess just. Is there anything else in the room? Yes, there are. Again, is a room straight the other side. Seems to have a quite a large bolt that uh, on on this side of it, but it seems to be lying open. And the crystal's just hanging in the room. Crystal's just sitting in the middle of the room, just sort of bobbing lightly up and down and pulsing with light. I shall test fate and just okay. walk through the room. Okay. You walk past the crystal, there is a phone. 
You have a choice. You can summon one hostile horse sized duck or a hundred <laughs> duck sized horses. <laughs> it does say hostile. So, um. <laughs> hostile duck. Would you like a hostile horse sized duck or a hundred hostile duck sized horses? Um, considering that a hundred is a lot, I will choose the giant duck. Quack! <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. As is a mighty from again, in the corner is this gigantic green billed duck. That as you stop and look at it, you just. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, I would <laughs> chuck the piece of semi rotten meat at it. <laughs> okay, let's see how. Uh, do we have D20 a bit? Yep. <laughs> the duck does not care for your meat offering. Oh no! Oh, we've got nothing else. <laughs> Potion? We. Sure. Mm-hmm. Do, um, do Harbin's feet feel like lethal weapons, or am I flapping here? They are. They do feel like lethal weapons, yes. My feet are probably weapons. I'm a cat. All right, I think I'm just going to... Uh, Harbin is going to try and intimidate this duck. I'm the, uh, possibly a raptor here. Anyway, I'm not going to take your guff, so, uh... <laughs> I'm going to try animal handling. Yep. Oh, brilliant. Animal handling score. Duck, duck handling. There's a three. <laughs> Uh, that is a total of 14. 14, yes. You puff yourself up and emit quite a loud shriek towards the duck. The duck seems to stop for a second and is quite taken aback by your approach. <laughs> I suggest you all get a bloody moon bomb. Run. <laughs> Wait, it's distracted, get past it. Hey, I'm a cat, so I can just go very fast. Hey, you all just wanted to run past it through the door? Yeah. Well, actually... My stats are small enough that I could go between its legs. <laughs> yes. Excellent, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to just run to the stairs, because I'm a cat, I can probably go super duper duper fast. Mm. You can, you can move incredibly fast compared to everyone else. Mm. So you run through, you open the door and you run up the stairs, oh, and leaving the cheat. duck far behind. <laughs> <laughs> and as you walk into the next room, you begin to see like a sort of grill on one of the walls, and a very faint sort of end of day daylight is coming through. What type of cat am I? If you look around and you see you were a cheetah. I suspected that when you said I ran really fast. Mm. Yes. yes. I wish to keep it secret from my family. <laughs> <laughs> they will think I have died. I I cannot live like this anymore. Uh, I'm not getting I... tall or looking with potions. It's nice to see out that window a bit more. Oh. Can we make an animal pyramid? Can we make an animal pyramid, yes. How is it quite high, this grate or whatever it is in it's- it? Let's say, but maybe two metres up off the ground. Didn't you have really long legs, uh, Harbin? No, no, no. Or was that changed are they now? Are long enough? I haven't you are an eagle, them. so no. <laughs> hey, you can fly Brilliant. up. Yeah. You're an eagle. You have wings. You can fly. I, I would have thought of... Oh, right. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Yeah. Do I need to roll for that? Or? No, no. You, you've, you've got to try. You just flap up. You can stand you look uh, out the window. Run right out majestically. Yep, you Keep see um, a <laughs> massive courtyard in front of you, and there seems to be a, a gigantic wooden, like almost like a castle door at the other end. As you look around, there doesn't seem to be anyone else about, but you do see a couple of crystals just wobbling about randomly, just passing through the middle of the, the courtyard. And I tell everybody else that. Oh. Um, so what do we do? Well, it looks like those crystals are guarding the place or something. Yeah. Are the crystals sentient, okay. is it, or are they just guard dogs? We could have another chair. We could. I mean, it wasn't very forthcoming the first time. Hey, there's a bird. We can pick ourselves out. Pick, 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 pick. There's a window. I do not think the castle is made of eggshells, unfortunately. (laughs) I think this grate is really solid. It's not something we could... It's it's, it's not too... It's about maybe like 30 centimetres tall. Probably not big enough for any of you to... All right. Probably get through it and get up there. Do we have any portions left? You do. I am. Two of you, I think, or three. Yes, uh, I'm not planning to change anytime soon so somebody can have mine. I am willing to sacrifice my current form for a chance to maybe fit through that gate. Have we looked at the will? No. <laughs> no, there's, a, there's a, another door at the end of this corridor. There was just the only thing you noticed when you came in was that there was a great. We probably you are easily distracted. Yeah, let's, not, let's not do the same things we did before. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's try a door. Instead of a dust, yeah. Ah, uh, they will expect the door. <laughs> yeah. We have a plan B for Harbour. 
We have a plan B. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess door. Door? Okay. Door, yeah. So you walk up to the door and you walk the door and it leads into a small set of stairs leading up to what looks like a large kitchen. Ooh, food, 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 food. I haven't tasted food in weeks. And food, in, food, in, food. in the kitchen there are several bowls. Some of them are full of very weird coloured liquids that seem to swirl as you, as you look into them. No, I'm not going to drink any of that. Sounds like a Thank potion you. factory. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to drink any of that. Thank you. I'm, I'm just going to uh, slowly back away and then just run really fast down the stairs. Would I be able to add any of the liquid to the potion that I have? All four of your legs are for walking, so you don't have much dexterity, but you can always try uh, picking it up with your mouth. Uh, I guess sleight of hand? Yes, you, know, you, can also, you can try sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight of Sleight of hand. Sleight of Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is zero, sadly. Perfect. Um, I, oh, there's a T. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. You manage to pick up the bowl and start pouring it vaguely into your own potion as it sort of ex- pours along the floor, it runs along a trickle and runs under the very unsuspecting feet of Bowery. Oh dear, <laughs> my feet, my little tootsies, what is to become of them? So your little feet have become... I don't even know, what do I roll? I don't know what you do That is 37. Your feet have become very tiny, and as they become tiny, you also fall into the puddle <laughs> and become entirely a very small, blind creature. Who <laughs> <laughs> turned off the lights? But I, 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 I suppose I have no concept of how small or big I am at this point. What has happened? Am I like drowning in the bowl? How small am I? This very small mole crawls its way out of the bowl. Oh, oh that's cute. Um, I'm going to go stand far away from him because I'm going to watch your feet. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> it is probably be. for the best at the moment. Hey, hang on. You said someone could under 30 centimetres fit through that. Yeah. Yeah. I am also blind. He also doesn't blind. He's not blind, but he doesn't have very good vision. Because uh, moles are very very weird vision. Mm. Go to the opticians then. (laughs) I will make a note of it as soon as we get out of this tower. (laughs) Yeah, moles are the opticians. I'll make a note on the wall. (laughs) Well, I did not expect that. Um, Apologies. (laughs) It is always a hazard of the workplace, I guess. It is. (laughs) Our homes are just fleeting. There is no sense getting too attached. Hang on, are the floors... Are the floors diggable? The floors are basically like sort of flat stone. Mm. I was hoping if they were diggable, Mr. Mole here could borrow... Excuse me, but I I have a name, I am not Mr. Mole, I am Qualos with a Q. Qualos. (laughs) Qualos with a Q. Do not get it wrong, do not spell it wrong, it is with a Q. Okay, cheese. Well, um, (laughs) unless you fancy another dip, we should maybe move on. Mm. That's nice. As you sort of look around, there is a sort of hatch-style door on the other side of the room. Is there anyone who doesn't mind me just sort of like clinging to the side of them because I don't want to get lost? <laughs> yeah, big enough, you can do that to botch uh, Do a Frodo, we're going to be evil. Uh, oh, yeah, that's pretty right. <laughs> Call me Frodo, and you can be my son. <laughs> Vintage of this eagle taking off with a mole in his back and a badger front running around in the ground. Please, please <laughs> resist the temptation to eat me. <laughs> oh, you pretty much have a good enough light to see which other are. Those who don't know where they are, which I think is yourself and uh, the two. Uh, you are a hyena. I knew it. And you're a wolf. A wolf? Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Are we going through this door as we found? I have no idea. I am completely at the mercy of uh, our eagle friends. <laughs> I'm like, yes, but I can't help right now. Okay. Got a bit of flap on. Can I, can I uh, with my with my wolf like paws, open this door in front of us and have a look and see what's coming? You uh, walk over, and push the door. The door is a sort of a hatch door, so the top half is separate from the bottom half, but it's going to swing open, revealing a sort of large banquet hall. And you see that there's a large open door that leads to the courtyard. I'm going to run very fast through the hall, uh, because I'm so fast that I shouldn't go through any traps, go like whoop, as into you, the courtyard. As you run into the courtyard, there is immediately a crystal in front of you, do a dodge roll to not run straight into it. Yeah, dodge. Nine we've got in total. Nine in total, okay. 
you come stumbling straight through. And as you stumble straight through, you take off and start flying through the air. Hey, bud. But only I can because you can fly until dawn. Oh. Oh, bud, it's still good. Oh. Pretty cool. <laughs> You, you can fly, fly until, dawn. until dawn. You fly until dawn. Just don't make sure you're up in the air when dawn breaks then. Mm. And, uh, so because your it. momentum is carrying you, you just sort of fly up like a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not really sure how to go up and down, you just project <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've just got this image of a cheetah running at like 60 miles an hour and yes. suddenly turning into a bird and uh, <laughs> shooting off at 60 miles an hour into the sky. <laughs> You're still an old cheetah, you don't have wings, you're just a normal cheetah, but you're yeah, not flying to the end. Like oh, right, okay. Like Santa's reindeer, just slowly just coming off yeah. the ground with the feet still going. I know, for up here. Fastest mammal on land being able to fly is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. At least you can see. It's like when you shut the lean here. Mm. Alright, so as. Ah, uh, yes, I was being able to see. The rest of you who are standing in this giant hall hear the sound. Only a cheetah can make that can now fly. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of noise is that? I think if I spoiled it for anyone's imagination, yeah, yeah that's best, coward. Best left, the, no, best left the imagination. Good, yeah, yeah. Theater, theater of mine. Right, so what the rest you're going to do is this cheetah just flies still towards over the gate. I have no idea I'm going to do this. <laughs> Any more volunteers for that rat? Um, Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> My badger, Roger the Badger, is going to come charging through. It might work for me too! I see! <laughs> Alright, uh, you running straight towards Crystal? Oh, he's going to All right. Uh, <laughs> what does this happen? Is there so much shouting? I'll tell you next time. <laughs> well, because you don't have clothes, it's going to count as fur, but your fur erupts into harmless flames. I knew it! <laughs> harmless, though. It's like, so you're no pain or anything. No, you're standing there on fire. Wait, like you're a phoenix, probably. Oh, yeah, that's pretty So he's going to keep running, but look around like, I'm not flying, but. Ooh, ooh, this is cool. I feel like that actually is a A plus one to dramatic flare. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is all this? I got a giant duck that wanted to kill me. Why are these things? <laughs> Does anyone else like the mole want to try? I cannot see, I have no idea what I is think, going on. Yeah, I think we'd all like them all to try something. <laughs> Would you like my potion, dear? I haven't actually... I'm getting tired of carrying it anyway. <laughs> if you insist, on if you insist. Right. Uh, roll, let's see what you end up as now. It can't be worse than 75. A sightless mole, surely. Challenge accepted. You're, uh, you're turned to a monkey. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, okay, it's, it's squirrel monkey. You I like bananas? Bananas. Also, now closest to being restored. Oh, yeah. No, this is pretty good. I am into this. It just requires a few million years of life. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but time at the minute. I am incarcerated. <laughs> Fresh air, I think. This is recording. Right. Yeah. Right. Have we removed all the crystals? Yeah, there's still about three or four crystals just a cane just bobbing around this courtyard. Mm. Anybody have a plan? William, do you know? You ever talk to Charlie Street at another crystal? You want to? <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I you, can fly into the one. You charge into a crystal. There's a sort of strange fun sound and the ducks are back, but this time 200 ducks appear and follow you everywhere. You can't get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what you've always wanted. Yes. <laughs> yeah, folks are getting bigger. So you now have a small train of ducks following you. 200 ducks. Right. 200 ducks uh, can you. I land? Uh, Wait. You can try and land. Let's do what would you, it be? You, you animal uh, handling actually. Be you, 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 you were going at 60 miles an hour before, Keris, so trying to land at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So animal handling, roll, and your animal handling is one if you don't have it already. Three. Three. Oh you try and stop, but you don't really know how to stop. You just. <laughs> Momentum is just keep carrying you forward. You're currently passing over the front gate. As you're just watching this, as the door is long behind you now. As you just see this lake in the distance, as you're just slowly making your way towards it, getting closer and closer. Oh no. I'm going to lean to the side until I find something soft. If I see something soft. And then I'm just going to keep my momentum carrying myself until I land on it. You try and lean, you end up just spinning. So you know there's a rotating cheetah spinning towards the lake in the distance. <laughs> oh, everyone else just watches this spinning cheetah just disappear over the top. I wish to thank you for regaining my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I could never have dreamed. What have I been missing? I like 
This guy is on fire. This guy is flying. <laughs> there is an army of ducks. <laughs> I like ducks. Uh, I bet you five that she doesn't bounce more than three times. <laughs> I will take that bet. <laughs> so as the cheetah shoots over the top of the gate and flies towards the lake, the rest of you kind of make your way over towards the gate. The gate is locked. There is a, a, a small portal. Hey, at least I got a free way out. Can I make my ducks charge them? Well, they follow you, so you, if you can sort of charge at it, they will charge after you. Okay. Okay, bro. What would that be? The, this gate could Acro- be open, Acro- of course. Probably acrobatics. But I love your imagination, so go on. An army of ducks. Acrobatics is one. So you've got nine. So you, you charge towards the gate. The sheer velocity of having two of the ducks strike into the fence causes the door to buckle and flies and splinters everywhere. You are now all free from the castle. As you walk down the hill towards the lowest village, you just hear the dis- <laughs> and the sheer lands in the lake. <laughs> So yes, you are now free. And that is the end oh. of the adventure. Thank you. Thank you. I need to know how many times did you bounce off the surface of the water? I have a bet I have money riding on it. <laughs> so that's up to them, they can say that. How many times did you bounce, Keris? You were going at 60 miles an hour and you were shaped like you were a cheetah. Uh, <laughs> Plus the angular momentum one. of the spin. Uh, and you were leaning to one side as well. Uh, water isn't bouncing. You never skimmed rocks. <laughs> yeah. you never been skimming rocks. Can you, you know, you want to roll and see how many times you bounce. That's the D20 then, so. Yeah, that would be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make, make <laughs> D4. Go on, D4. She bounced. I owe you a five on my friend. Ah, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> well, considering everything everyone else has gotten has been a good result, <laughs> I'm going to be left and go back and try and trigger one of the other crystals. Sure. And see what happens. You run back and... You run at the crystal, there's a strange noise, and you start glowing vibrant green for the next 24 hours. I've got to ask, how many ducks survived <laughs> battering the door down? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a oh, percentage roll. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was, was it a 200 or 100? 200. Yeah. 200. Oh yeah, and I want to, I want to ask 135. something. 135. 135 ducks survived? <laughs> yep. There you go, um, that's not bad. I that's still bad. have my followers. So you've still got um, most of them. Can I, um, get out and shake. Yeah. Yep, yep. you go. Oh, yeah, water. and it's not water magic water. No, this is not water. Okay, if I can still fly, I'm going to fly to a, a farm so I can eat some vegetables. <laughs> okay. And you're broccoli. You're <laughs> 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 Very the air. Broccoli loving. You know. <laughs> the velocity of a comet, you take off across the sky, <laughs> search for a farm. And I shout, Goodbye, friends, I'm going to eat some broccoli. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. People speak for, for decades <laughs> of the terror of the, the comet cheater. <laughs> comet cheater that came in yeah. and ate all the broccoli and left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, right, well, that Thanks is happening. So, we were just going to go back round and just see who you were, where folk can find you and stuff like that. And we'll go from there. So, yes, first of all, um, I was Skylar. My character's name wasn't said a lot, but it was Bobbin. And yeah. Eden? Eden. Uh, my character was Bodger, who eventually became the Badger, which was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, pre- penance RPG, pretending with dice, and you'll find me there. Right? What? I am William, who. Yeah. Where are you? William has a very good YouTube channel. Apparently, he does. Yeah. yeah. Chicken Ninja. No, it's Ninja. I'm confused. Chicken Ninja. I don't know. At filiofish.com or dot one. You'll find it. <laughs> my name was Your Forger and it came from one of my favourite animes, Spy X Family. Just to introduce the characters, Your Forger, Assassin, the daughter. There's only it. so much you can say for copyright reasons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, goodbye. <laughs> okay, and my last word on this is... Do you like cats? I like cats. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, so, Philip, thank you very much to Penance RPG. Great game, great role-playing. Love the mechanic. Wish you all the success with the podcast. Thank you. Good to be a part of it. Thank you. Uh, Craig, I was playing Bee Harbour, and uh, you can find me on craigdillafing.itch.io. 
Thanks for running for us. And Barry. I mean, hey, it's me, Barry. I mean, if you listen to this, you probably already found us. I'll be real. <laughs> but if you're still confused, head into RPG in, in all of its locations. <laughs> yep. Pants RPG, Lipson, Twitch, PantsRPG.com. Yeah. If you would like to get yourself one of the Deck of Wonders which we use for the random crystal things tonight, you can get it from gemhammergaming.com. Uh, uh, we have an affiliate code with them, so if you use the code PENISRPG at checkout, you'll get 20% off. These things are great just for augmenting your game. Some of them are a bit, a bit more numbers based, but there are some definite fun ones and you can have a laugh with them, so I would thoroughly suggest that. Also, last thing we'd say is for dice, if you go to dndice.co.uk and use PENISRPG, you can get 10% off your dice there as well. So get more math rocks, have more fun with games, play with more random people. So yeah, that will do us for today. Thank you everyone, and we'll wind up there. So three, two, one. I like cats. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all. No, thank you. That's really good.